But first story has to do with the next generation. If you've looked through the vision booklet, you might remember this paragraph about investing in the next generation. And there's a sentence that says, preparing their minds as well as their hearts. In other words, we want them to know their identity and their love for Christ and that it's about relationship and loving people. But we also want them prepared that if someday they meet a person who says, oh, Christians are anti-intellectual, that they're prepared to know that Isaac Newton, one of the smartest people who's ever lived, according to Albert Einstein, was a follower of Jesus just like me. So was Martin Luther King Jr. So was Harriet Tubman. So were most of the founders of the scientific revolution, et cetera, et cetera. I could go on. But the point is this. We want to raise them up to really know their faith. Well, I've got to just share with you guys, God has given us an incredible life change story just in the last month that shows that he's already doing this. And the story actually starts with a dad. There's a dad who was here during our Jesus Loves Me series. And when we taught about what Jesus did on the cross, this dad came up to me afterwards in tears. It was actually a baptism Sunday. He said, I'm not ready to get baptized yet, but I'm believing today. And I mean, he was just emotionally, God was working in his heart. He said, I've been attending church for 10 years, but I've never believed it for myself before. Today, I really believe Jesus is God. Today, I really believe he died on the cross for me. Today, I ask him for the forgiveness of my sins, and I get it. It was just this breakthrough moment for him. Well, I paired him up with a brother in our church who's discipling him, that is teaching him the Christian basics. And as they were praying, one day I was praying with them, and we said, how can we pray for you? John is his name. He said, pray for my daughter. She's 15. She's gone to church her whole life, but she's told me that she's not sure if Jesus really lived. She's not really sure if it's true because she lives in this world that kind of says it's not, but mom and dad say it is. And I said, well, um, is she a reader? He said, yes, she is. Well, um, part of this My challenge as a leader is that every part of this vision, there's like a drop-down menu, and there's like a whole binders of stuff that we have planned, but I can't share all that in one message. One of those binders under this is a project for our young people called Jesus Skeptic, and it's all about them knowing the historic validity that Jesus lived and how his followers have made the world a better place. So I had an early draft of that book. The book will come out in October. And I gave it to this guy, John, and I said, if your daughter's a reader, have her read this, and I'd just love to know what she thinks. Because if she's doubting and she doesn't think it's true, that's exactly who this is written for. Well, guess what happened this last Wednesday? His daughter, Katie, stopped by my office, and here's a picture of Katie. And uh, she brought the book back and said, hey, there's some notes in here for you. I really enjoyed it. And I said, oh, great. You know, what what did you think of it? She said, well, when I started reading the book, I was a skeptic. She said, but now I'm a believer. And so Katie, yeah, yeah, praise God, right? He's the one who does the work. He's the one who gets the credit. But here's what's awesome. Katie and her dad, they're both getting baptized today. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? And here's what was so encouraging to me because I've stepped out in faith is, you know what? Katie's the first young person to read this as a skeptic that I know of. And she represents one of thousands that we're already praying for, both within our church, young people who are growing up, and internally they're wondering, does this stuff really work? Is it really true? And many others that God's going to reach through our young people. And God allowed in his perfect timing to rescue Katie, but also for it to happen right now so that we can see early on in this vision, you know what? God is in it, 